This is Isolde and I wanted to guide you through a little bit of yoga today and also a little bit of Pilates and just a little bit to move the body. It's a day where it's 35 degrees I think or 31 degrees here in Australia Celsius. I don't know how hot that is in Fahrenheit but just know it is really really hot and it feels fantastic for me and uh, it's been a while since I made a yoga video and so I thought let me make a yoga video for people who want to see something new, a new sequence and also we're here in 2021 so ready to embrace new energy, new destinies, new paths that we take this year and letting go of the old, releasing that which doesn't serve us anymore, including sometimes our own limited beliefs about what we can do, how the world should be, and yeah, working on accepting ourselves as we are, as we are evolving, so always constant evolving. So let's take a moment to get onto all four. I always like to start with cat cow, so hands are under the knees, fingers are well spread, so press on the palm. Don't put all the pressure on the wrist. The, the middle finger is facing forward. The shoulders are underneath the wrist and you're having an external rotation of the arm, which means the inside between the crook of the arm would be facing forward and the back part of the elbow would be facing the body. The knees are underneath the hips gently spread apart about hip width distance the feet are facing the ground so they're not tucked under they're facing the ground and we're going to begin with some cat cow to lubricate the spine so on the exhale rounding the spine tucking the head in on the inhale sinking the tailbone pushing the shoulders away from the ears and gently lifting the neck up as far up as you can and keeping the shoulders away from the ears so exhale rounding the spine tucking the head in inhale sinking the tailbone pushing the shoulders away from the ears looking up gazing up Tilt the tailbone, look up. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, tilt the tailbone, push the shoulders away. Inhale, look up. And as you look up, also be aware of your face that you have a gentle, soft gaze. So work on relaxing your jaw. Sometimes you're very tense in our jaw. Our face has a lot of expression, all the, the years of anxiety and stress and anger are all on our face. So just for this moment, become aware, are you tense in your face and let it go. Nothing to prove, no one to be, just completely perfect in this moment. Exhale, rounding your spine, tuck the head in. And inhale, tilt the tailbone, push the shoulders away, look up. And now coming to tabletop. And as we're in tabletop, we're taking it a little bit slower today. Activate your abdominal core by gently sucking in the belly slightly. And look straight ahead so your neck is gentle. On the inhale, you're lifting the right leg up. And now turn the right hip to face the yoga mat. So you're not externally rotating the hips. You're keeping that right hip parallel to the mat. Keep pressing on the palms of the hands so not all the pressure is on the palm. And now tuck, or rather bring that knee into the chest. Hug the knee into the chest 
and keep pressing on the palms and gently elongate the right leg. Hog that right knee into the chest, tuck the head in. Elongate the right leg and gently look straight ahead. Inhale, curl that right leg into the chest, tuck the knee, tuck the head in. Exhale, elongate, lengthen. And now release that right knee down. And so for balance, we're going to practice that on the other side. On the inhale, bringing that left leg up. And bring that left hip to face the mat. So you're not opening the hip. You're keeping the hip facing parallel. Now, if your knees hurt, you're welcome to put a blanket to support your knees. So remember, this is accessible to anybody. You just have to modify it. And if you have shoulder or arm injuries, then maybe you have to modify this whole practice. And that's all right. Do what you can. Curl the knee into the chest. Look towards the knee. On the exhale, lengthen the left leg. Point the left toe and keep pressing the hands down on the mat. Inhale, curl the left knee into the chest, tuck the head in. Exhale, lengthen the spine, look straight ahead. Inhale, curl. Exhale, lengthen and gently release. And now bring the hands slightly forward, tuck the toes. We're coming into our first downward dog. So in the beginning, most people are very stiff. So keep the knees bent if that helps you. And push the hips away, spread the fingers wide. Keep pressing on the palms so the pressure is not on the wrist. And now place the right foot flat on the mat and bend the left leg flatten the left foot bend the right leg so switching sides and now i want you to switch sides at your own pace And so this is the time that we've dedicated for ourselves, for our health, for our well-being, for our peace of mind. You know, most of the time we're on the phone, we're working, we're with people, we're attending things we have to do. So it's rare that we ever just get a chance for ourselves to be without the phone, be without technology, be without people, be without communication, but rather just be in communication with ourselves, with our divine nature. So, now bring the feet down. Now I want you to roll forward into your first plank. Okay, so shoulders over the wrist, hamstrings are engaged. Lift the hamstrings, activate the abdominals. And now bring the right foot to the, the right, bend that right leg, bring that right knee onto the crook of the right elbow and bring it back bring the left leg to the outside of the left the left arm and bring it back and switch one two and let's go on both sides And now drop to the knees. Come up for a moment. Bring your hands onto your sacrum or your lower back. And your fingertips are facing down like you have your hands in the jean pocket. Elbows are back behind you. So this is opening up your shoulders. And now bring your chin 
into your chest first. And I want you to lean back. And if you can, bring the right hand and the left hand to grab hold of the feet. And now look back. Press the hands onto the back. That was our camel, Harustrasana. So if that was too much, all you're doing is hands on your sacrum and slowly keeping your chin to your chest to protect your back. Gently, just moving back, starting to lift your rib cage. Push your pelvis to face forward gently but notice your rib cage and chest are gently bending back according to your range of flexibility. And gently look back. And now gently come out of it, bring the hands in front of you, back to downward dog. Downward dog. And you're gonna bring the right foot between the hands. Left knee drop down. Bring the arms up overhead. And so the knee is always over the ankle. If you need to have cushion on your knee, put a blanket or a pillow underneath your knee. Remember you're always listening to the cues your body is giving of what's best for your body because only you know what's best for your body not me you so if you need to put a blanket or a pillow under your knees that's okay do what you have to do and if you ever need to come out of the postures because we're in them too long that's okay remember this is your time to honor yourself i'm only a facilitator And now I want you to bring the hands to frame the right foot and straighten the right leg, flex the right, flex the right foot. So we're in our half Hanumanasana, which is our half split. So this is wonderful to engage the hamstrings, activate your abdominal muscles. Press the right, hand, right foot down. And look straight ahead. Take a deep breath through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Straightening that right leg one more time. And if straightening the leg is nearly impossible, don't worry, keep the leg bent. Folding over the leg. So in half Hanumanasana, our half split. And now bring that right foot back to the ground. Tuck the left toes, lift that left knee up. Press both hands flat on the mat so they're, fra they're framing the right foot. Bring the right foot back to the left. You're in your plank. You're gonna drop down to your knees. And we're gonna work on our first chaturanga, our preparation for the full chaturanga. So we're activating the abdominals, hugging the elbows into the rib cage, and not moving the tailbone or the sacrum or the chest. Slowly bringing the body down. Untuck the feet. Lift the chest up for Bhujangasana, our cobra. Tuck the toes. Downward dog. So 
downward dog. Activate the hamstrings, activate the quadriceps, press the fingers down, press on the palm. Downward dog is often looked at as a nice holiday from Chaturanga. Bring the left foot between the hands, right knee down, and keep that right foot tucked behind you. Arms up, overhead. So this is our, just our lunge. Notice your breath. The breath is what is connecting us to our, to our mind and to the body. It's the one thing that is happening unconsciously most of the day, most of our life. We're not even aware of it. So take time now to become aware that without this breath, there is no you. You're not existing on this plane without your breath. We can manage without food, we can manage without water for a certain period of time, but without breath, we cease to exist. Alongside the left foot, slowly straightening the left leg, flex the left foot as much as you can, activate the abdominal, so suck in that belly, feel yourself hinge forward, if this is difficult, bend the left leg, that's perfectly fine. Bend the left foot, so the left knee is over the ankle. Feel, feel the movement of your body in comfort, not in pain or agony. Arms up. So gravity is pulling us down. And we are lifting our arms up to lift our chest, to lift our rib cage, to gently back bend while the lower body is slowly opening the hips towards the ground. So framing the left foot, straightening the left leg, flexing the left foot. And now bend that left leg. Lift the right knee off the ground and right foot to meet the left foot. We're in our first forward bend. So if you're very stiff, keep the legs bent to protect your spine. In the morning, I often do this. Today, I feel a bit stiff, so I'm keeping my legs bent. Tuck the head in to protect the neck. And now we're going to roll up, keeping our head tucked in. Roll up very slowly. Vertebrae by vertebrae. And then bringing our arms up overhead, looking up. Bringing the palms together, fingertips to touch. And exhale, arms come down to the side of the body. We're coming into the Tarasana, which is mountain pose. So we're going to prepare for the sun series, which is going to give us a lot of life, a lot of energy. It's very invigorating. We're in our mountain pose. Shoulders are away from our ears. Abdominals are always activated. Even if you think I don't have abdominals, activate your abdominal muscles. Tuck in your tailbone. Arms up over the head, palms together, look up at the thumbs, reach up, exhale, swan dive down, tuck the head in, inhale, look up, lengthen the spine, shoulders away from the ears, exhale, tuck the head in, look toward your legs, so you completely relax the neck, 
Bring the left leg back, knee down, untuck that back foot. Arms up, look up. And now bringing the hands down to frame the foot. Tuck the toes to right foot to left foot. We're in our plank. Holding the plank. Dropping down to our knees. We're doing chaturanga with the knees down. So keeping your abs where they are. Hog the elbows into the ribcage and lower down. Do the best you can. Untuck the toes. Bhujangasana, cobra pose. Downward Bring dog. Bring the knees down. And again, tilt your body down. You can walk your fingertips slightly forward. Keep the abdomen activated as we prepare for half chaturanga. Hug the elbows into the rib cage. Keep your abdomen activated so you're not lowering like this. You're not sinking your tailbone, trying to keep the abdomen in. It's a lot of work. Untuck the toes and lift up. Bhujangasana, Cobra. So remember, just do what you can. Don't worry if you can't get it perfect. We're not interested in perfection here. We're just interested in going through our own process, which will look different from human being to human being will have a very different body. Tuck the toes, downward dog. So we're just embracing our body as it is, rather than focusing on what it isn't. Now looking between the hands, bringing that right foot between the hands, left knee down, untuck the left toes, bring that right knee over the ankle, so this is our alignment, to protect the knee, if you need to put a blanket underneath the knees, always do that, it's no problem to use props, bring the arms up, and look up. Bring the hands down to frame the foot. Left foot meets the right foot in our forward bend. If you need to bend the knees, you bend the knees. That's all right. Tuck the head in. So forward bends are all about surrender. It's all gravity now. Bend the knees slightly to protect your lower back and your sacrum. Bring the arms out into the shape of a T and come up with a straight spine activating the abs. Arms up, palms together, look up and exhale, arms to the side of the body. And now come to sit down and we're going to begin our abdominal workout because the abdomen is protecting the spine and so working on our abdominals is helping you for so many things for your posture the strength of your spine for those of you who sit down all day in front of a computer or who sit down a lot who don't move a lot activating the abs is so good so we're gonna do our pilates hundred you're bringing we're coming to tabletop on the mat so our back is on the mat our feet are parallel to the ground our arms are lifted up our long side the legs the palms are facing the legs and now if this doesn't hurt your neck too much lift your chest lift your chest lift your neck if that hurts then bring the hands to support the back, the, the head, the nape of the head. But if you're okay, 
arms are alongside your body. And now you're going to turn the palms to face the mat. And if you can, you're lifting up. So either way, either hands supporting the back, keeping the elbows away from the legs. Or for those of you who are ready, we're going to pulse to 100. 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Hug the knees into the chest. That should feel good whether you pulse or not. Still, you're going to feel it. Bring the legs up to 90 degrees. Arms flat on the mat. And we're going to do scissors. Bring the right leg down. Right leg up. Left leg down. Left leg up. So let's, let's go. One. Switch legs. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Hug the knees into the chest. Doing good. Now, bring your palms on the mat to face the opposite direction of your hands, of your feet. That didn't make any sense, sorry. And now you're gonna hug your knees into your chest and you're gonna push out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, hold on one minute, I'm gonna turn my palm the other way, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So bring the feet down, I'm sure you felt that I did. Let's come to we're going to come to our forearm plank. Again, this is activating the abs. So we're holding for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now walk the feet forward for dolphin. Looking towards the feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dropping down to the knees. And we're going to come to lie down in Shavasana. We always need our deep relaxation for the body to absorb the energy. So you're lying down on your mat, shoulders away from the ears, palms facing up. Close your eyes. And now just imagine you can let go of everything. Let go of your practice. Let go of all the worries, bills, responsibilities, obligations. Let it all go for a few moments. So you're allowing yourself to have a moment of freedom. To be your true self 
to connect with who you really are. the knees into the chest, wrapping your arms around your legs, and for this moment, just realize how precious it is to have a human body, a body that works regardless of the shape, the size, your body, your feet, your legs, your arms, they get you through your life and sometimes we take it for granted. going to come to rock up to sit and we're going to sit cross-legged and we're just going to take a moment to close our eyes bring our palms to face up to receive energy and for this moment all I'm asking you is to observe how your body is feeling how your energy is without any judgment. All our life we are judging the outside world and we are judging ourselves. So yoga and our meditation is that one time where we can stop judging how we are doing and how other people are doing and instead just be. that your breath, your prana, that is your life force. At any moment you can tap into that breath. And so bringing our hands to our heart. I invite you today to bring a little bit of kindness to yourself, to the world around you. And kindness, including not judging yourself very harshly and not judging other people. So every time we're busy looking at the outside world, to blame the outside world, to critique the outside world, Instead, let's work on 
learning to be comfortable with who we actually are. And maybe that's the better question, who are you? So thank you for sharing this time with me. I hope you've enjoyed, I hope you feel wonderful, and I hope it gave you a lot to think about, and I hope it gave you energy for the rest of your day, your life, wherever you are, whatever country you are, whatever time it is. God bless you. Have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful life. And remember to love yourself and be less critical on yourself. Bye-bye.